Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. So I wanted to talk about Wyndham Hill Records today, the independent uh, record company. And uh, just to give you a little history, they were founded in 1976 by guitarist William Ackerman. And uh, the label released a whole bunch of music, uh, basically instrumental acoustic music, that sort of falls into the area of like new age, soft jazz, and like some classical mixed in there. And uh, unfortunately the label went defunct in 2007. But uh, you know, while you are out digging for records, you can sometimes come across albums that are on the Wyndham Hill Records label. and. You, you know them right away when you see them because usually it's like a white uh, stark cover with like maybe a picture of something to do with nature and the artist is on top and it's just very, uh, it's just like a white stark cover and you can just tell right away that it's a, one of those Wyndham Hill releases. Now, um, I got into this label when I randomly picked up a George Winston album. I believe it was the December piano album. And I listened to it and I was like, okay, this is some really chill, mellow, meditative music. And it just sort of has that calming effect. And uh, I liked it. And I believe it was a CD, the first thing that I picked up. Today, what I'm gonna be showing you is, uh, I have eight albums. And what sort of got me thinking about this video was I found another Wyndham Hill record today. So I was like, oh, let me dig out the other albums I have. And I, and I have about eight of them, not a lot, but I wanted to show you the artists I have. And I like the quality of the Wyndham Hill label. I'll show you some things that I like about it. So the first artist I'm gonna show you that I have, this is actually the one that I picked up today. This is William Ackerman, actually the guy who founded the label. And this is his album, Passage. And that's what I'm talking about with the cover. That sort of stark white cover with a picture on the front. This happens to look like maybe it's, uh, you know, sort of a clouded over forest with his name at the top. Okay. The back is usually the same. And there's that Wyndham Hill logo. This is a gatefold, all right, it tells you the players, okay? Now, William Ackerman is a guitarist, and I told you about the quality. First of all, the, the album jacket is very sturdy and, uh, you know, made very well. Sometimes you get a jacket, you're like, yeah, this is flimsy or the record doesn't fit in right, but these are always uh, very, you know, solid covers. The other thing too is when you can find them, because sometimes the owner took these out, the Wyndham Hill albums for the most part came with their own inner sleeve that said Wyndham Hill on it. And it's that, you know, sort of polyline sleeve. All right. There's the uh, label again, and it lists some of the other albums on there that you can get. The quality of the vinyl is really good as well. And I, and here's the thing, I'm not really an, I don't consider myself an audiophile, but whenever I listen to these Wyndham Hill records, I think they sound really good. So this is the new one that I picked up today. All right, uh, let me show you some of the other albums that I have. This is, um, and hopefully I'm pronouncing his name correctly, Scott Kasu or Kosu. This is his album, Wind Dance. All right, and this is from 1981, and he is a piano player. All right, so again, you have, and I'm not gonna show you this in every one of these albums, but again, you have that custom inner Wyndham Hill sleeve with the white label. And again, you just know that you're getting quality. This cover's a little different, it's darker. But this is Michael Hedges' Aerial Boundaries.
Okay, and this came out in 1984. I was 10 years old. And Michael Hedges is a guitar player. And looking at all these albums, I think I'm going to go on a Wyndham Hill listening spree here. I know I've shown these in the past, and I've, I've for the most got, part, gotten a lot of positive comments. There are listeners out there who like this label, and they like the artists that are on it. Here's one uh, by Mark Isham called Vapor Drawings. Okay, and this was from 1983. And uh, I'm looking to, for what... Okay, Mark Isham plays uh, synthesizers, trumpets, flu, uh, flugelhorn, piano, soprano, sax, and electronic percussion. Wow, so just an all-around musician. And here's the artist I was talking about, George Winston. And uh, he has a lot of albums on the Wyndham Hill label. And, uh, you know, a lot of them are uh, titled with seasons or with times of the year. So this is uh, George Winton, Winston's Winter into Spring solo piano. And this came out... can't see a year but there's that one I also have George Winston Autumn piano solos this is 1980 so the bulk of these releases are from the 70s into the early 80s and this is the one that I know a lot of people have and I've, I have this on CD as well but this is um, George Winston's December. And it's hard to see, but it actually says um, December up here and it's embossed. I'm trying to get it to where, oh, there we go. Maybe you can kind of see it there. And this came out in 1982. And the last album I have to show you, this is a Wyndham Hill sampler from 1986. So these are all selections from the Wyndham Hills label. This is the cover. This is the back. And you have, uh, you know, a bunch of the artists from the label on here, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. That's the label. Those are the records. Like I said, I've only got eight, but when I see them out in the wild and if they're in good condition and a good price, I will pick them up because I know what I'm getting. It's not like you're going to put a Wyndham Hill label or album on and be totally surprised. Like they all fall into that instrumental, acoustic, new agey, jazzy, classical realm, which for me, I like listening to that stuff every once in a while. So there you go. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Wyndham Hill Records. And, uh, you know, I'm always on the search for them. So, all right.